This is the Secured Entrepreneur Show, and I'm your host, Aurora Day. Welcome, and thank you for joining me here on the 34th episode of the Secured Entrepreneur Show. This year has proven to be quite turbulent for some of our most infamous CEOs. Clearly, the many highly publicized ethical lapses have caused some new entrepreneurs to rethink their own role within the companies that they have founded. With confusion and dismay, we watched how Mark Zuckerberg, Facebook CEO, was ordered to testify before the Senate after news broke that Cambridge Analytica, a data firm with ties to President Donald Trump's campaign, gained access to information about 50 million Facebook users, which violated Facebook policies. Now, you all know that we were left wondering and questioning the integrity of Mark Zuckerberg and his company as a whole. More recently, one who we have revered as our fearless leader for a long time, Elon Musk, CEO of Tesla, has been called a disaster public CEO and a train wreck by Volvo Cars Director and their board because of a $4 billion loss over a six-year period of time. The company has yet to show a profit for a full year, and in an effort to recoup some finances, Tesla asked for a return of funds from suppliers, and Elon Musk has now proposed to take the company from public to private just to gain relief from public shareholders. And we are seeing how this story is now playing out. How encouraging could these occurrences be to the new entrepreneur who must play the role of both entrepreneur and CEO at the very start of their new venture? Not too encouraging. However, understanding the responsibilities of a CEO and fully implementing them will make a world of difference to the culture of any new company. So today, we're going to discuss the top seven responsibilities of a CEO that will assure your elevated success. I'm Aurora Day. Protecting your business starts before you open for business. Let's start with the most important and imperative responsibility that you as a CEO who is also the entrepreneur has. The very first responsibility that you have as the CEO is to raise capital. Yes, you as the CEO must have your company in the position to qualify for unsecured lines of credit. You've got to manage revenue and expenses. Before your company comes before the masses, it needs to have all of the resources to maintain itself while it's becoming profitable. This leads to the second responsibility that you have as the CEO. Your second responsibility is team building. You've got to have the financial ability to hire and train the right people according to the expertise that your business needs to be as successful as it can be. Now, if you intend to have people who are on the top of the food chain in their field, you'll have to have the means to pay them what they are worth. When your company is properly structured, you can also offer these qualified individuals some equity. You'll stand a better chance at getting exactly who you want on your team when there is something something equitable in it for them. The third responsibility that you have as the CEO is to set clear and direct goals. You're going to create and communicate your organization's vision, its mission, and strategy to your team, and together you will implement them. Everyone should know where your company is trying to get to, so you want to set goals that motivate and inspire your team to action. The fourth responsibility that you have as a CEO is overseeing and delivering. You have got to oversee the complete operation of your organization in accordance with the direction established in the strategic plans that have been implemented by you and your team. You're ultimately responsible for your company's performance, so the expectation to deliver falls on you. 
the fifth responsibility that you have as a CEO is brand management. Yes, because you are playing the role of both entrepreneur and CEO, building and maintaining a strong brand personally and professionally is a must. Whatever your industry calls for in terms of creating a worthy and memorable reputation, you have got to be on board with doing what it takes and extending the necessary financial resources to make it happen. Okay, now it's getting thick. <laughs> the sixth responsibility that you have as a CEO is investor management. Did you know? that your investors can be your greatest salespeople? Yes. When you nurture your relationship with those who invest in you and your company, it is more likely that they will bring other investors on board to support your company's growth, showing your investors how they are benefiting from the profitability of your company will increase their confidence as well as their investment. How much do you like that? The last responsibility that you have as a CEO that I would like to share with you is corporate development. As you are sharpening your CEO skills, you will know when it's time to take on some strategic alliances. Soliciting advice and guidance is commonplace among some of the leading CEOs of our time. Mergers and acquisitions will often require the assistance of specialists who bring a knowledge base that your current team members may not have. Your company can be as large or as small as you like it. It's still your responsibility to develop its corporate culture. All right, I'm ready to get into the next episode. So please feel free to leave your comments and questions and subscribe here on YouTube, ring the bell, and like Aurora Day Consulting on Facebook. Oh, and by the way, for all of my female entrepreneurs, please join us over in our Facebook group, The Secured Entrepreneur Movement, The Female Edition, and be sure to stop by www.securedentrepreneurmovement.com. Until next time. With Aurora Day, you are secured.